some random guy grabs my hand and says, I love this song too, come dance with me, my friends. And I said, okay. My friend Brogan finally finds me. And you know what Brogan asks me? Spencer, why were you dancing with a whole bunch of gay porn stars? <gasps> oh. Right, right. I got a podcast! Add to the, add to the, no, no, no. <laughs>
Did okay. you know that? No, I, I didn't. You learn yeah, something new every like, day. I didn't know that. Um, I have like the almond breeze one and it's very high in calcium. So <laughs> Your I grandma have... loves that. <laughs> Wait, who's yeah. grandma? Mine. Oh, my you... grandma loves almond breeze. Do you want to know? Did I ever tell you both about how like how I used to be allergic to almonds? And you made yourself not allergic anymore? Yeah. That's like one of the wildest things I've ever heard. Yeah. Do you well, remember that? I, I, no, I don't. I never I heard about that. I used to eat the Starbucks croissants, the almond croissants, to get out oh. of work. <laughs> they worked at Starbucks. <laughs> Wait, maybe I saw a video remember on this. What I, I, yeah. I, I think I, think I, I this. saw a video on I, this. I like, used to, at work, I would get so <laughs> anxious when customers were rude to me that I'd be like, I can't do this. And I'd run into the back and I'd like rip open a bag. Actually, this is all hypothetical because like I don't want the Starbucks Corporation being like, we want the money that you stole when you ate a croissant in 2016. I don't think they're... Yeah, well, I don't think they're don't that know invested if they'll be worried. in my life. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, like, I would run into the back and I'd eat almond croissants, like, little bits of them, and then I would have an allergic reaction and get sent home. Did you have an EpiPen on you? Um, no. But, like, it <laughs> was, like... Danger. Yeah, but, like, it was enough for me to be like, oh, my gosh, look, like, hives. And then they'd be like, oh, okay, go home. What caused that? How, how many times... Did that happen before they caught on? Um, they never did. And actually, you want to know why they never did? Yeah. Because I feel like my body eventually built up a tolerance to almonds. So now you can just chug almond, almond milk, milk if I wanted to. Out yeah. of the carton. Wow. Yeah. That's and impressive. I'm, that's, I also used to be allergic to shellfish. I was allergic to shellfish. And then really? all of a sudden I wasn't. You can. Just yeah. Kind of like I don't asthma. know what happened. You can grow out of allergies. That too. I got it my <laughs> asthma too. Wait, what's your zodiac sign again? Sagittarius. I'm a Leo. It makes sense because we're fire signs. Oh, I d yeah, okay. And wait, what's your zodiac sign? I'm an Aquarius. Aqua You're my sister sign. I know. Emily's a Leo too. Really? Yeah. I had no idea. I'm no. Grace. Yes. You didn't know that? No. I feel like here's my thing though. It's wait, like, is that wrong? <laughs> wait, are they not a Leo? No, M Emily is a Leo. A Leo? Watch you be wrong. No, You're listen, probably no, no, not. no, 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 because they're obsessed with astrology. Someone and roll it's up all the receipts. Wrong. Someone roll up the receipts. I need you to go to famousbirthdays.com right now and look up M Grace Dog and then comment under this video, please, and let us know <laughs> if M is a Leo. They're a Leo. Okay. I hope. I mean, like, I feel like <laughs> the thing is, like, it, if you tell me this, it's like I can say yeah. They are a Leo. Oh my god. Fam you hear that? Famously, Famously a, Leo. a Leo. Yeah. Okay, you ate that. Yeah, I'm up on my Emily facts. Come on. August 3rd. Oh, an <laughs> August Leo. No, what are you? I'm first day of Leo. You know what? You know what? A lot of people out there will talk their shit about July Leos, but let's get one thing straight. Um, you guys can hate us all you want, but the reason you hate on July Leos so much, August Leos, is because you know we're better. This feels so personal. No, it is. Because every single, oh my gosh, every single time I see anyone talk about like Leos in mm, general, people mm. are always like, August Leos are the best. No, you're not. You know how I think about it? July Leos are like, if you're looking at a deck of cards, the royal court. You know what you are? You're a one, two, wait, no, the cards don't even have a one. You're a two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm Jack, Queen, King, Ace. That's Period. I yeah, I don't <laughs> I don't know. Well, I actually thought that I hated Leos up until recently. Really? Yeah, I don't know why. I was probably just jealous of the confidence, to be like, honest. Honestly, it's a <laughs> gimp. Like, we're all, like, the confidence is not real. You're faking it till you make it? Well, like, yeah. I feel, well, is it, like, I feel like in general, like, confidence isn't really real. I don't know how to explain Fair. it. It's like, you can act confident and you can feel confident, but I'm not confident all the time. And there are okay. moments where I like I have to fake it a little bit to like get yeah a, get a okay, little okay. But you know what? Like you're like, like you're like, not like your aura, but like your energy, like your vibe is like just confidence galore. That's Yours is true. like that too. Yours is like that too in a completely different way. Yeah, I'm like a quiet confidence. You like radiate like power, <laughs> and I radiate like give me attention now. <laughs> That's what I. You're Which like, is like Leo. Yeah, I literally I was writing my journal the other day, and I was. <laughs> I literally was writing and I was like, I'm, I wrote, I'm so sad. Why is no one texting me? I want attention <laughs> so bad. And I didn't want to text anyone first. In your manifestation journal? Yeah. And then I got a whole bunch of texts. Wow. You heard it here. We should get one. Um, no, I love, I love Yeah, we can share journals. it. Yeah. Okay. 
A manifesting journal. No, I don't do much manifesting. I probably should. Really? I've heard a lot. I mean, I've heard good things. I feel like. <laughs> I mean, like I don't. I don't know if. I mean, I. I'd like to say it works. I feel like. There, how do I put this? I saw a really good analogy about this on TikTok. Manifesting is like waiting for, not waiting for a bus stop, but you know when you used to go to school, did you ever take a bus to school? I did not, no. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> you know how like in like, okay, Disney movies where like kids are, they're about to miss the bus, right? Now with manifesting, it's like, say I see my bus and it's a block away and I see it's picking up kids. I can stand there and manifest that the bus won't leave without me, or I can sprint and manifest the bus won't leave without me. Yeah. Chances are if I manifest and I'm sprinting, the bus isn't gonna leave without me. But it's Unless like if I just trip. stand there and do nothing, yeah. and it's not gonna happen. So it's like you can manifest things, but it's like manifest them and also do what like you're manifesting. Like, oh, I wanna manifest gaining muscle. You can't just sit and manifest gaining <laughs> muscle. Like, go, yeah, like, yeah. Lift weights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be active. Right. So it's like similar to goal setting, but with a with a plan. Yeah. Kind of, sort of. It's like, it's like, it's literally goal setting. But it's like, when I write out manifestations, I, like, I picture myself as if it's already happened. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't, I'll write like, I am. Right. Not yeah, yeah. I will. Right. You know, I feel like things have worked out for you. So maybe the manifesting works, it, right? Yeah, I yeah. think so. I yeah. mean, like there's a lot of shit that goes on in my everyday life. That's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. wow. Like, how is this life real? Like, no, what? for sure. Yeah. But I feel like it's like a give and take with the universe. Totally. Maybe because the universe has given me so much. They're like, we have to make your life kind of shitty, right? <laughs> you know, yeah, like, no. Like, yeah. Yeah. I feel you. like that. Yeah. I feel like that's like probably how it works. You manifested me. Did I? So cute. Wait. Yeah. Well, this is gonna—it's gonna take like a little dark turn for like it three have to seconds. Get so dark. No, it's not gonna get so dark. It's just we're just taking like a slight turn, and then we're gonna go really happy. Okay. Because I definitely had like a point right before I met Katie where I was like so just like down, like the depression was hitting. Um, and I literally one day was just like in my room, and I was working so much and having so much success there, but like personally, things were just like yeah crumbling and so i was like on my knees and i was like praying to the universe if you will like please just like send me somebody like i need someone to love like i can't you know keep doing this like by myself and like quite literally katie and i met like a couple months later and here we are so it was definitely like from that point on i was like wow like i spoke that into existence and it literally happened and it was just like such a like low point too and the universe really said like we're gonna give you something to work with here. no yeah crying tears <laughs> real tears really sick and twisted for saying that <laughs> yeah me too this is, I, I've, I someone manifested me as well and <laughs> yeah but they they the, we're still we're still waiting on it too because you know like i have to still meet them because they, yeah. ma they manifested me they just like haven't met me yet totally so. well it did take a few months it took a few months that's true i used to light a candle in my room a pink one <laughs> and like pray to god that he would send someone to me i would like do spells I, did did they work yeah um like no definitely but i actually i did not right? i did get a pink candle from like a uh, like a uh a wiccan shop and the lady told me how to use it mm -hmm. and there was like a spell with it and i used it and then oh my gosh wait this is actually a crazy story i'm not joking okay, this is ahead. the only time i think it's ever worked and it was from a blessed candle uh, uh this lady in a wiccan shop gave me there was like a spell on it and then she told me to light it on a full moon because when there's a full moon you're asking i believe things to enter your life and on a new moon to like release things and she told me to light it on a full moon and essentially just like manifest someone. And I was like, okay. So I like read this, the spell, I guess like prayer. And the next day, this was like, I had recently just got my license too. I got pulled over. But after I got pulled over, by the way, this was in a Starbucks parking lot, my, my old Starbucks parking lot. As I was like pulled over, I guess there was a guy across the street who saw me get pulled over and I was sobbing in my car because I was like, I just got my license. You got to be kidding me right now. How the hell did I get pulled over? And I got a ticket, too. So 
if that cop sees this, screw you. You want to know why he gave me the ticket? Why? Because I had an unclear license plate. Bitch, that's a lie. What does that even mean? Right. Like, <laughs> it was all, dusty? He literally, <laughs> no, he was no. looking for a reason to pull me over because, first of all, it was raining. I was on my way home and there was a tree that had fallen over in the middle of the road. And when he pulled me over, I said, why did I get pulled over? And you want to know what he said to me? Because you swerved all over the road. And I said, um, there was a tree in the road. <laughs> what did you want me to do? Just like drive, drive into a tree? And then he was like, okay, I'm just going to have to run your license really, like your license plate really quick. And then he ran it, came back and said, I have to give you a ticket for having an unclear license plate. And I was like, you are a shitty person. I don't even know what the <laughs> hell that's supposed to mean. I don't know either. But it was still like, it was like a $185 ticket. And I Stop. Not, I was working at Starbucks too. Too. Like I was like, I told this man, I was like, I'm 16. Like, what was I? No, I was like 17. I was like, I'm 17 and you expect me to pay this off. And he was like, well, this isn't your car. It's like your, it's registered under a, of your mom's name. I, I was, was going to say the full name, but I can't have people finding my mom online. Yeah. Anyways. And he was like, why don't you just ask her to do it? And I was like, my mom works two jobs. Like what a weird thing for him to say. Anyways, I'm crying in this parking lot. And then this right. guy rolls up to my car while I'm crying. Mm. Um, and he's like, hey, are you good? And I was like, yeah, I'm fine. And then he asked me for my number. So I gave it to him. And uh, it turns out he was actually like batshit crazy. <laughs> so I, I, like, I think the candle worked, but like. Be careful. I could have told you that. Pro he, yeah. he saw you sobbing and he came up to yeah. ask for your number. Yeah. It feels a little. But like, I feel like with anything, this is what I'm saying. Like, don't mess with other people's free will. I sound actually crazy. But no, no. For real, like when you manifest, no, don't do it. when you manifest for someone else to want you or you, you manifest for someone out there to just like come to you or like you do a spell, you're taking away someone's free will. So obviously they're going to be cuckoo bonks crazy bitch yeah they will be <laughs> oh speaking of cuckoo bonks crazy you want to know something that's so wild that happened to me this weekend yeah well yes. not this weekend oh yeah it was this weekend i went to weho <gasps> dun 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 sorry like i feel like weho is like kind of sometimes scary i've never gone out to I weho just, mm. what oh my gosh yeah. like we've gone out wow okay you need to go i don't even know if i knew that yeah. like never no. I know we haven't gone together. Never, yeah. We're like an old married couple. We're in we bed by like 730. Yeah, we don't go out. Oh, I'm so proud of you guys. But like, no, well, you just turned 21. Yeah. So... <laughs> the baby. Sorry. Um, just turned 21. Yeah. yeah. And so, I don't know. I think we should like go out. It'd be kind of fun. Well. We're not um, too social. Maybe like not. <sighs> Maybe not WeHo. Okay, wait, what happened? Oh, okay. So WeHo's like really like it's like don't get me wrong, like it's a fun time when you go with a group of friends, but um there is do you know what the I call it the homosexual poor. Do you know what that is? Oh, it's like when they give you a lot of alcohol. Yeah, it's like yeah. if you ask for a double shot, like you're getting ten. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And they're like, okay, here. It's like, and then like you sip the drink that you asked for. It's like, ooh, I asked for a tequila, sugar-free Red Bull, and you literally don't taste Red Bull at all. You just taste tequila, tequila. <laughs> and a big ass glass. And then like the next day, you're like, why am I so hungover? Why can't I leave my bed? And it's like, oh, it's because I literally probably just drank a handle of tequila last night. Um, anyways. I'm in WeHo. I go to this place called Mickey's. Also, Mickey's, the like account on Instagram follows me back. I just, I love it there sometimes. Um, and I'm in line for the bathroom. And I go to the bathroom. And I'm waiting for my friends outside of the bathroom. And I was like, come on. By the way, I was like tipsy drunk. And I was like, come on, guys. I want to dance. Like, I love this song. Some <laughs> random guy grabs my hand and says, I love this song too. Come dance with me, my friends. And I said, okay. So um, <laughs> he like grabs my hand and he takes me to like his group of friends who were all like very attractive. And I was like, I don't think I belong here. Like you guys are like really pretty. Um, and then they all start dancing. And then this one guy who was like really cute, like I was, whatever. My friend Brogan finally finds me. And he's like, Spencer, where the hell have you been? We're trying to leave. And I said, oh, sorry. So Brogan grabs my hand and we get outside. And you know what Brogan asks me? Spencer, why were you dancing with a whole bunch of gay porn stars? <gasps> oh. This always happens to me, too. <laughs> the silence. This is... <laughs> what were we supposed to say? I don't know. Like, I, that was, well. like, it was riveting. I would, like... Ugh. 
but it was fun. Wait, but so your friend recognized them? Yeah. I I mean like I didn't, but like <laughs> maybe I did a little, like I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, no, but it was a lot of fun. Um, and then I got like dragged out by my friend, and then I went home, and I don't really remember. Like, well, I remember actually. But like, what? Uh, your why did they want to leave your friend? I don't know. I literally was like, guys, I'm having so much fun. Like, come on, stay. It kind of sounds like iconic a little. It was like two a.m. as well. Oh well, that's why they wanted to leave. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like, come on, guys, like have some fun with the gay porn stars. Yeah. Dance a little bit. Yeah. Twirl on a pole. Get on stage. Did they have a pole? Mm, no, they had a stage though. Kind of fun. Kind of. You need to come out with me, <laughs> like you both do. You said kind of fun. Um, no, 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 no. You come out with Spencer. It's gonna be fun. Did I ever tell you? Period. Like on Christmas, I went out and I literally danced with the Grinch. Well, someone dressed up I'm like sorry. the Grinch in a thong. Of course. Oh. Yeah. Painted green or no? No, it was red. <laughs> Oh. Grinch with a twist. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I love it. But that's like WeHo. It's like gay people everywhere and fun and drag queen. It's just like such a good time. See, we, as you know, we like go to dinner and then we like go home, which is why we say we're like an old married couple. Yeah. You know, we both had phases, I think, much younger of like, because I grew up in New York City. Yeah. Oh. And like, if you went to school in New York City, you know that Gossip Girl is like a real story. And so, like, yeah. at 14, you're just at places you should never be at 14. And so then Ever. by the time you're like 19, you're like, I'm never leaving my house <laughs> again. You're like, I'm done. Exactly. See, like, it's I like was like going to college at 14. I grew up in like. New Jersey, North New Jersey, and it was like, where am I gonna go? A farm, right? <laughs> right. right. So yeah. it's like I came here, and now I'm just like, whoa! <laughs> when did you move here? I moved here a little bit over a year ago, which is like, wow! Oh, congrats! That's so exciting. Yeah, it's so hard to like think like conceptual. I feel like I literally moved here yesterday. Isn't it crazy to think about, like, okay, so if you moved here like a year and a half ago? Oh wait, oh, you started probably on TikTok in COVID, huh? Mm, yeah. Like, a little before that. Isn't it crazy to think how different, like, your life was, like, two and a half years ago? Um, I was talking about that last night. Like, it's insane. Like, not about your life, just, like, our life. All all of our lives. (laughs) You actually changed my life. Because you, not a lot of people know this, you are the reason, like, I got signed to management. Like, I remember you FaceTimed me, and you were like, so who are you signed to? And I was like, no one. Yeah. And you were like, what is wrong with you? Like, you need to be signed to someone. Like, are you making any money off of social media? And I was like, no, like, I'm paying my way through college with Starbucks. And you were like, let me help you out. And you're the reason I got signed to the agency I'm currently with yeah. still. Should you be an agent? Do you have a career path there? I, I guess I have an eye for Management? Like scouting. I don't know. I did get a... Do you, do you know? I got a lot of people. Yeah. That we all, all of our couple friend group. People. Mm-hmm. They're all signed. I got them all signed. I got Zaya signed. No! Because, like, I literally, in my head, I was like, Katie did this for me. I should do this for Zaya. And I remember Zaya was with, like, a really bad, like, company at the time. Like, an yeah. agency. So I was like, mm-mm. Well, I got one of our friends signed. Had a, They had a, allegedly a terrible experience. Oh, I left. know exactly yeah. who you're talking about, too. <laughs> did, you see, did you see that? <laughs> no, but it, I saw them in person. Oh. oh. Yeah. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah. Are we talking? Are we talking? Yes, yeah. yes, we are. Yes, we are. So, like, just... We didn't bring this up earlier, but like twenty four hour fitness person. Yes, I, yes, 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 yes. I know yes. exactly. Oh my gosh, yeah. Did they tell you the whole story? Yeah. So funny. Yeah. I mean, not not. I not, guess not funny for them, but, but like, like in hindsight, the story is kind of funny. I feel bad. I tried to. It's your I, fault, right? I yeah, it is. <laughs> I like, feel bad. You have a success story, and you have. Oh, but there's lots of success stories. I feel like that. That's the thing, though. It's like, also, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> when <laughs> when they like. When they I know. joined, I know. it was also like a slow, like, I always talk about this too. Like, there There's are like slow periods. Like, you don't, like, get brand deals. It's not like, a regular job. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you have to wait. And I literally, I even And sometimes told, the wait's a little, it's a little long. Yeah. And then you're like, wow, like, am I. Paying rent this month? Yeah. <laughs> like, should I, <laughs> should I start an OnlyFans maybe? Should like, I go back to Starbucks? Like, like, should I shake my ass on a stripper pole in WeHo? <laughs> like, what's going on? And then it's like, it happens. And you're like, oh, okay. I can live for it the next few months. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's how it goes, you know? Bam. Ah. Sorry. <laughs> Let's play a game. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, that was like my way of like saying let's play a game. 
Um, we're gonna play uh, Scream That Lyric. So these are the rules, everyone. Uh, we have paper and we're gonna scream what is written on the paper. It's a lyric to a famous song. And then out of the other two people, someone raises their hand and they have to finish the lyric. So who wants to choose first? I, I can't go first. I have to let the guests go first. Okay, I'll go. I just you just say it. Okay, okay. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Nobody y'all I think it's on it's it's on the other oh. side. <laughs> oh god, this is going terrible. Okay, ready? Yeah. Are we an item? Girl quit playing. We're just <gasps> friends, what are you saying? <laughs> what song is that? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> We're just friends. Oh, okay. uh, yeah, baby it. by Justin Bieber, yeah. right? That was horribly embarrassing uh. that I didn't know that off the bat. When I read that lyric, I was actually, I was didn't know that it just off the transported bat me back into time. <laughs> I heard that statement and I knew exactly where Luda. I was going. <laughs> okay. When I was thirteen, I, I had my first, first love. love. Okay, someone else choose. Should I go? You All go. Right. Let me say. <clears throat> Give me a second. I. Are you f***ing serious? Wait, what? <laughs> wait. Okay. Wait. 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 That, I there's no sh no way that's the only part of the lyric. No, like. Give me mm -hmm. a s get wait no don't don't wait I do you know what the song is don't say it give me, give me. wait I there's know there's cheating going on no, over here no, 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 no there's not there's not I'm, I swear <laughs> okay you you guys are gonna you do know it okay for sure okay. give me a second eye give me a second I need some no 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 give, give me, me a second eye I need to get the my Wait, give no. me a second. I I need to get my story straight. My friends are in the bathroom getting higher ding, than the empire state. My lover, she is waiting for me. <laughs> Just across the bar, I see some. That gets you a Yeah. So, so, oh my God, like that. that's not fair. That was like don't two yell words. at me. Okay, I didn't write it. That's how I oh, feel about no. that one. Okay. Katie's a I sore wanna, loser. Okay. I, I'm going to choose the next song. I am a little bit of a sore loser. That's no, okay. It's hard to play a game with me because I. It's have, very hard. We've played, um, what is it, Clue? Clue. Spencer. I know. No, you don't. You have to come over and play this new game that we've been playing. <gasps> what game is it? Uh, we can't. We would need a whole other episode <laughs> oh, to explain. No. no, seriously. It's so fun. I'll play. It's called Hunt a Killer. It's like a murder mystery game. It takes hours. They give you like real police documents and evidence. There's only one answer. There's one answer. You play it one time. One time. You got one shot. Right or wrong. You have to figure out who the killer is, okay? And you, it's literally, there's an envelope that says like, this is the answer. Don't open until you know it. There's no structure you to the game. You gotta crack codes. You gotta make timelines. You gotta have motives. Figure out. It's crazy. It's bananas. You feel like you're an investigator. Yes. For there's a no. Bit. I would love to play that. Come play it. You'd probably be really good You'd at it. You'd be so good at it. We should have an episode where we just play it. That'd be so fun. That would actually be really <laughs> <Wait>. fun. <laughs> I'm so competitive. You were so. I'm so <laughs> you said yes. <laughs> I'm just so competitive. Like, I love games. Okay. Uh, oh wait, this is easy. Oh my gosh, wait, the answer. I do my hair toss. Check my nails. Baby, how you feeling? Feeling good as hell. Yes! You got that very quickly there and I'm happy go. for you. There we go. You know that song? I do, okay, but not we, as quickly as you knew it. We all get one more. Okay. Okay. Uh-oh, this is going to be a fight to the finish. Okay. I'm actually not going to read the first part because it's too easy for you guys. Okay. So just a second. Like, at tea time, everybody agrees. It's me, hi, <laughs> on the problem, it's me. At tea time, everybody agrees. What's the rest? I stare directly at the sun, but <laughs> never in the mirror. It, it must be exhausting, always rooting for the anti-hero. That song's been number Sorry, one for everyone. like 10 weeks. Honestly. Yeah. That, um, yeah, T-Swizz. T-Swizz, we love you. Come on, this show. Sorry, what? Like, what right. the hell? <laughs> Another, this is going to be a fight to the death as oh, well. Oh, no, okay. <laughs> I believe, well, I, I'm not going to say that yet. I might kill my ex, not the best idea. His Fuck. new girlfriend. Next, how did I get here? His new girlfriend's next, how did I get here? <laughs> Guys, the game is called Scream the Lyric. <laughs> I was trying to like sing the lyrics in my head, but like I, I had to sing them that out loud. Is, that is Sorry. correct. Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. Well, this is the last one. Be prepared, both of you. That was really. The, are you gonna oh my look gosh. at me? <laughs> I think this one's actually kind of hard. Okay, oh, good. Man, all right. 
I like how you said that. <laughs> Man. Man. <laughs> I used to bite my tongue and hold my breath. Scared. I used to bite my tongue and hold my breath. Scared to watch. I used wait. Oh my god. Scared to put Scared. in a book. <laughs> But I it's, isn't buy, it no, Roar no, Katy no, Perry? No, I used to bite my That's tongue a, and tell No! <laughs> <laughs> my I bad. used to bite my mm. tongue and hold my breath. Scared, scared to make a no. mark. <laughs> I'm innocent. <laughs> Question mark. Scared to rock. Scared to rock the boat and make a mess. Scared I to rock the boat and make a mess. Watching chaos and Roar, I actually I don't think you understand how joyous it was for me to sit here and stare at the camera while I watched you two struggle to guess the lyric <laughs> wow. I felt like I maybe this is my villain time. origin story no I honestly the way you read it was a little shady <laughs> oh I know I was like I have to make it harder <laughs> the sneaky pause yeah I had to make it harder but I think I did a really good job I think so too thank you who won I wasn't even keeping. She already wants to know, not you. No, I'm going to say <laughs> you won. Because, like, I. It's. It's going to be so awkward when, like, I did not win. <laughs> I actually think. You they watch not? this and you're like, um. I got okay. none right. Yeah. You're like, so can we take that clip out, <laughs> yeah. like, real quick? Mm, no. I, I, whatever. Maybe we all tied. That's. Did you do sports growing up? I did not. I've never played a sport. Really yes, in my life. yes, we talked the other day about how you ran track. Oh, and how okay, you did yeah. hurdles. I did. Yes, I, I, that's a sport. Yeah, okay. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, the I apologize to the track community. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, no, I never did a sport. Fully to track. I ran track and in high high hurdles. I no, <laughs> in junior high. <laughs> Okay, work. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Okay, the truth comes out because I did play basketball for like a week. Mm. <laughs> Your parents I never have spoken basketball. to me about that. Yeah, no, I really was really, really bad. Like, honestly, like I went to a private Christian school in the South. <laughs> and so like everybody makes the team. Like there's no tryouts. And like after like a week of practice, they were like, sweetheart. Like, I don't think. Oh, God. I didn't get cut, but they like made a strong <laughs> a recommendation <laughs> that they were like, you should practice at home before like, you, you come back. You should be a cheerleader. Woo! And I was like, and I did. I became a cheerleader. Okay, but you ate that. You were a cheerleader. Yeah. I wanted to be a cheerleader so bad, what especially happened? in high school. You, why oh, not? Like, I just like, it just like, it wasn't. Actually, I wasn't really allowed to do sports oh. or like do anything like that in high school. Via like your parents or the school? via my one teacher because I was in the theater program <laughs> whoa and like for the theater program we had to stay after school oh. and like that's true actually I was a theater kid and like you, you couldn't were. do other things mm. and he, my, they were very my strict. teacher was like you can do it but just know that you won't be cast in lead roles because if yeah you do sports and you they can't you make choose. it was very serious but mm -hmm. you like you were very good at basketball yeah I was on I was yeah, I was on varsity when I was in, like, seventh grade no, for basketball. Don't. But, no, my theater days, I was a little younger. Mm -hmm. I was in, like, fourth, fifth, sixth grade. I was going to say, you said you did basketball for a week. I did Boy Scouts for a week. I actually, well, you know The Mighty B? It was a show on, like, Nickelodeon. I do know The Mighty B. That just unlocked a memory. So <laughs> I used to watch The Mighty B after school every day, and I was like, mm, this looks like so much fun. I want to be like The Mighty B. Um, I went to, I went to my first like Boy Scout meeting yeah. and I was like, so where's my satchel with like all of my badges on it? And they're like, so you actually have to earn those. Like in six years. Uh, and I was like, mm, how about no? So in my brain, I was like, literally, I'm not joking either. If you go to like a Boy Scout of America, like building where they like sell the uniforms and they sell all the, you can literally buy like every badge. Wow. So what's the. Just like to do it, I guess. No, but like if, if you can buy it, why would you earn it? Do you that's know what my, I mean? Why, it's like, integrity. In well, what? you know when you go to sleep at night what you did. Oh yeah, that is true. It's kind of like you can is say it that you're. Serious, though? I don't know. Well, I was never a Boy Scout. Well, yeah. I literally I knew someone who was an Eagle Scout, and then they like I guess what is it like you graduate eventually, and he was actually a really nice kid. He like built um what is it called a gazebo, for in like wow. this park for a batch. Hmm? For a badge? 
Mm-hmm. You built a gazebo for, for a badge, yeah. A gazebo badge? Yeah, girl. <laughs> I'm sorry, but like if I was told that I had to build a gazebo for a badge <laughs> for a badge, I would say, um, you're hilarious. I'd say no, I'd actually see. This is why I know. Thank God I didn't follow through with Boy Scouts. I would pay someone else to do that shit for me. Two what do I look like? Hundred percent. Why would? Sorry, don't get me wrong. Like, good for him. You're a good person. Like, I'm really glad that you went out of your way to build a gazebo, in a park for kids to just hang out in. However, I'm glad you did it. The way I built it. Not me. You, you would b- build it. Yeah. You build it. G- Probably. Oh. <laughs> I was really hoping no one would notice that. Yeah. I, the minute you said, oh, I was like, damn. I was like, damn it. We actually know someone who is majoring in like um, construction. We and I, do? Yeah. I, oh. Yeah, I think he had to build like, like not a gazebo, but something very similar for like a final. Like that's what they're doing in college. Okay, he also had to build a weight rack for me and it took him about three hours. So he I don't know. Paid. Huh? You paid him. I know, but the weight rack was like, it was like 10 screws to the whole thing. Oh. So I'm oh. saying that oh. I... Oh. 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 oh, no. When you said, well, he built a weight rack for me. I was like, oh, good for him. And then you're like, um, so I got it on Amazon and it was actually <laughs> exactly. just like 10 screws. Yeah. Yeah. The way I could pay me. I'm so... Oh, my gosh. I absolutely love building stuff from Amazon. My desk, it's my vanity, fun. my bed frame, my uh, my stools, my dining room table, my That's benches. That's a lot. I built all of those. I actually have a really pretty pink tool set that I have in my house, and it has like a little like the like the, the screw the, the drill drill, drill. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> the yeah, the one that goes. <laughs> it's a, it's a drill, I, I think. Yeah, it's like a screw dr- No, a drill, yeah. I knew no, it. Yeah, a screwdriver is just like one. With the yeah. hand, yeah. Well, yeah. damn. <laughs> How the hell did I not know that? Wait, I, I have a funny story that I do want to tell you. Please. Okay. So we just went. I Look, literally, the way that I'm telling the story, like my pride has to be so far put aside that it's Where like, is not this even going? Funny. It's going to the promenade. That's where it's going. <laughs> Where's the promenade? <laughs> no. Okay. Like seriously, this this is the most. I was so embarrassed from this that I started crying. Like I, that, that's how embarrassed I was. <laughs> Do you know how embarrassed you have to be to start f-ing crying? Okay. Like really. This embar- happened like three days ago. No. I, I and I have proof to show you. Okay. Anywho. Oh. Point is, is that we went to Disney for my birthday. Yeah. Okay. And so we were staying at a hotel that's like kind of on the Disney property, sort of. Like it, it's literally on. It's the Disneyland Hotel. It's the Disneyland. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we were staying at the Disneyland Hotel. Okay. Anywho, there was a tram you could take from the hotel into Disneyland, so you didn't have to walk. And so we were there two days, and so we missed it day one. Okay. And so we missed it again morning. Why did we miss it? Because I wanted to look cute. Okay, but that's Kay. like, re- like I get that. I just wanted to clarify. Okay, well, okay. see. I get it. Okay, thank I'd you. I want to look cute too. <coughs> thank you. Hair flip. Yeah. So we miss it morning, the morning because of me. And then it's like our last time going into Disney. Like this is like like the last time we're going. And so she's like, Okay, we gotta make the I just goddamn tram. Catch the tram. We, I so just, bad. Because it's a far walk. We okay. we had walked like how many miles? Twenty four oh, almost at this point. So yeah. I just I really wanted even, to get to I the tram. I don't understand that. Like even when you like give them your ticket, like you still have all that yes. like long way and trail yeah. to walk. And then Oh, you know. Like I lost my car at Di- let me I'll tell you that, but keep it right. <laughs> okay. This is so good that you know because you know where this is in your brain. Okay, yeah, you okay. can picture it. Okay, okay. So we're, we go through this, the first, or the security. Yeah. Okay. And so she's like, okay, the tram, like I see it, like we got to make it. Okay. So we're going through security. I'm wearing like a birthday button that says like, my name's Katie and it's my birthday. Okay. And I have like a big puffer jacket on. I'm holding an open can of, dr- of Celsius. Okay. I'm, o- I'm holding an open Celsius. And she's like, let's go. We got to go. And oh, so- please. <laughs> so- I'm wearing these big ass like H- Haley Bieber like balloon pants, okay. <laughs> and so I- I'm like so frazzled, like because I like r- I feel bad that I've like made us miss this tram. <laughs> so I I'm holding all this shit, like I have like a big ass like puffer on, and I just start <laughs> sprinting, okay. <laughs> Grace is a 
far ahead. I literally, t I, 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 it's like I'm back in junior high on track, like gonna go over a hurdle. Like I literally start running and I trip on my pants. Oh, no. Spencer. <laughs> When I tell you, airborne. <laughs> like, no. Yeah, yeah, I literally fly. The Celsius goes flying. I heard a crash behind a me. Crash. Are you a I did crash? A, U, a crash. I did a U turn yeah. immediately. Literally, I'm wearing like my favorite purse. It, it gets like skidded across all no. of the cement. This is, okay, so like that sounds pretty bad. It, that's pretty bad. But then immediately, a Disney worker runs into me Ma'am, do you need medical assistance? <laughs> Ma'am, ma'am! She, she needs to call the fire. Saying, I'm like, golly. Shut the hell up. I did. Leave me here. No, and then this woman on a stroller was like, hey, like, you, you this flew out of your bag. And, like, other people, like, running. Like, like a like, crowd okay? started to form. A, a crowd was yes, forming. Yes, and I'm literally. <laughs> <laughs> I would have been like, leave me here I, now. I, I was like, everybody, I'm fine. Thank you very much. And then I, I started crying. Well, no. She said, everybody, I'm fine. Thank you. Thank you. Got up. Got all her stuff. And I'm like, okay, great. Like, it wasn't so bad. We walk about two minutes down the thing. She's slowing down. I turn around, just tears streaming. I don't know what to do. I'm like, so embarrassed. Ow. Oh, evidence. Honestly, wow. that doesn't even look as bad as it was. This was a rough tumble. Yeah. It was. It was. This was, was it like a, a real fall. Plant? Close. Yeah, I I've mean, I mean, I. Yeah. Oh, oh wait, yeah. Is your, yeah. Are your hands you, healed? No, you can't, yeah, it was all they were right very there. red, and it was cold. So like you know, when it's your like skin is cold, worse. it's <sighs> bad. And my Celsius was ruined. I was so, uh, I was so like we are as close as two people could possibly be. Like we actually <laughs> couldn't get closer. We tried. I was embarrassed. Like you, it was so bad that I was literally embarrassed. Oh, I was for embarrassed you. for you. Yeah, as well. That was not good. Think about that. Yeah. You know what? I'm oh. telling you. Oh, wait. There's a second part to that story. No. What happened? What? We got stuck on the roller coaster in the dark <gasps> after that. Wait a second. Okay. So at Disneyland, damn, Space this Mountain. Damn, it's birthday. No, yeah, like, literally. <laughs> Katie's scared of the dark. I'm going to start there, actually. I don't. Yeah, you know Space you are Mountain. Too? Yeah, I have a nightlight. Oh my god, yes! I'm I I'm I have to go to sleep with the TV on because I'm like so scared. Oh, of I dark. can't I can't have noise, but I have like a nightlight on all time. Well, times. yeah, okay, all right. We have a lot of lights on in the room at all times. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Space Mountain though. Anyway, you went we, on it, right? Yeah. Okay. So it's super fun when it works. Yeah. Um. So it's it's all in the dark. It's a roller coaster that's just completely in the dark. Yeah. And when so it works was the key. <laughs> Katie there. has taken a tumble. We have. <laughs> You're like, let's go on the try to make you feel better. Yeah, exactly. I'm thinking fun roller coaster. Let's go. I've got like the lightning lane pass, so we're getting on quicker. We get on and it starts going and it's very it's very fast. It's very dark. She's already screaming, and then it comes to one of the most abrupt halts of all time, and immediately. I've been on it many times in my life. I'm like, that's not a normal stop. This is not where we stop. And it just comes to a halt. And, like, everything just shuts down. How like, long were you on it? And everything just, like, well. 10, 10 15. Yeah, maybe, like, Did 15 they, were minutes. They able to, no. Were you able to go back on? The worst they, part was this. They turn on the lights. And well, no, because they, they, they get on the speaker first and they're like, attention, astronauts. Your journey into space will continue momentarily. It didn't. <laughs> It did not. It did not. And so we're sitting there like, and I immediately start crying. Okay. <laughs> I can hear it. There's tears already. <laughs> and then, th then they start being like, code two, eight, one, seven, yeah. nine, two, code four, one, four. And I'm literally like, we are never, <laughs> ever getting off of this way. So then they turn on all the lights. Seeing the, the interior, infrastructure. The infrastructure. This, mm -mm, mm -mm. It's something I never wanted to You're never to going see. again You're, if you look at yeah. it. Yeah. And, and th th then- you could see that there were other carts of people that weren't on our cart that were also like <clears throat> scattered. scattered. Yeah. And anywho, they had to like put they, like the this was the worst part in my opinion. Because listen, we're thinking, how are we going to get off? The roller coasters come to a complete stop. All the lights are on, and these two like <laughs> small girls come up and they're like, "All right, we're just going to push the back of your cart. You'll roll back to the sta space no, station." You yeah, swear to God, I'm dead. And we're, I'm like, "Oh, you're you're just gonna? Oh, okay." And they just push us, and we start going again. And in in the did, light, we did make it back to the space station. But do you know, like having to finish like that roller coaster oh, in the, the light, light after being pushed? Yeah, and literally, everyone's just like no breaks. We just were hoping <laughs> to know, get back. You know the TikToks where it's like people like joke like on roller coasters, and they just like are deadpan the whole roller yes. coaster. Okay, it was like that, but like no one was joking. Everyone was, <laughs> everyone was like, "What the actual?" F
is going yeah, on. Literally. It was traumatizing. We also got stuck on the Little Mermaid ride. N- not oh. as traumatizing. Okay, not as traumatizing. Like, yeah, but mermaid. the song. I the only ride I've ever actually gotten stuck on was at Universal. Okay. And it was the Harry Potter one where you like sit in the chair and they like swing you around. Bad um, to get stuck on. Hmm? Bad to get stuck on that. It actually it was like it was it wasn't that like bad. It was just like uncomfortable because like we had like the thing that you're in it like swings you around and we had like literally stopped in this position where I'm not joking mid swing my, my body like I was being <laughs> pushed up against the side of the chair because it was like we were leaning forward and also like to the side yeah so I was like stuck like this <laughs> for like 10 minutes and I had my phone in my pocket and I was so scared because I was like what if my phone falls out what if my phone falls out I would I would be so screwed sue universal yeah universal <laughs> I'm getting that check. I've never been. Really? Yeah. The only reason I went was for the Harry Potter wands. Wait, what did you say? That'll be next on our list. I have a couple universal horror stories that we don't have time for. Universal. It's not good? Universal. Universal's like, I'm not joking. I explained this to my friends the other day, and it made sense to me. The reason I don't like Universal. Okay. Don't get me wrong. I like museums, right? Like, you go to a museum, like, the Museum of Natural History. But, like, after 20 minutes of walking around and just staring at stuff, you're like, I want to go the hell home. Of course. Don't get me wrong. Like, it's really interesting. I'm not getting you wrong. I I completely agree. Yeah. That's universal, but with, like, two good rides. Mm -hmm. Like, everywhere else, it's like you walk around, and it's like, yeah, yeah, you go into a wand shop. But it's like, I didn't know. Okay, I got really pissed off because... I went to, like, the wand shop to, like, get my wand and figure out what kind of wand I can have. Love that. Um, no. Sorry. Um, <laughs> some girl in there was having her birthday. Why would you pair me with a girl who's having her birthday? Like, I don't want that. I want my own. I wanted my own experience. No. Only one person in the room gets chosen to go up and test out a wand. And you know who it was? Of course it was the girl who was. It was her birthday. Happy birthday to you. Whatever. Um, and I didn't get to, like, do it in front of everyone and, like, try out my wand. I literally thought we would all get a turn. So, like, after she went, I was like, oh, gee, like, I was looking at my friend. I was like, I wonder who's next. Like, I'm so excited. And then they were like, everyone else, you could get your wands over here. The door opened and it was literally, like, I'm not joking, just boxes upon boxes of like literal ones you could just pull out and be like, oh, okay, I want this and leave. It, <sighs> Tragic. Like that is not like Universal. Like I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Universal has nothing on Disney. You know, to me, what you just described was was what's it called, California Adventure or whatever. There's like oh, two fun things, and then it's like a lot of walking. I'm, I, I sincerely apologize for the trauma of it's okay. the wand. You I know? Just, and even so, it's like they're getting rid of rides and adding new ones. And it's not even like rides that like the one good ride that they have is what? The mummy? Sorry. Don't get me wrong. If you enjoy going to Universal, <laughs> go to Universal. <laughs> Live your life. And if you work at Universal or you own Universal and you love it. I love you and enjoy it, uh, but it's not my cup of tea. And um, the not only the real good ride is the mummy, and it's not even that long. You're such a politician. I love it. Really? You n- offending nobody except for Leos who are born in August. Yeah, Leos. Who- oh, actually, yeah. I have something really good to say. What I will say about this is how I am with Leos. <sighs> We're always going to have a debate about who's better. July Leos, we think we're the best. August Leos, you guys think you're the best. And you want to know why? It's because we like the competition with one another. Because no one else can compete with us. That's how amazing we are, Leos. Okay? But let's get one thing straight. We're all Leos. We're all the best. And at the end of the day, yeah, you might think you're better than my July Leo. And I might think I'm better than your August Leo. But at the end of the day, we're still better than everyone. That was literally moving. Wow. Wow. Thank you. Okay, anyways, would you guys like to tell everyone any upcoming projects you might be having, your social media handles? Yeah, okay. My ad on Instagram is at Katie Kelly, and my ad on TikTok is at Girl with Green Beanie. What about you, Grace? Any upcoming projects? My socials are just my name, Grace Gosted, and... Joe and I just launched a makeup line. My makeup artist and I just came out with micro palm palettes that literally are the size of like your phone like teeny teeny tiny smaller than your phone we'll send half you the some. size of your phone we'll send you some we're also, gonna send you a package 
everybody if you haven't seen me posting about the music videos this is the individual who was singing in those music videos. Give them a listen, guys. I'm not joking. It's good. They're amazing. Also, I'm not joking. Probably the most fun I've ever had on like any set. Oh, ever. really? I love just going. I love going into the um, like what was it? The RV. The trailer thing. The trailer. trailer. Yeah. I love going into the trailer and just talking to like your mom and Beth Ann. I, you know, the one thing your mom said to me that has stuck with me to this day. Mm. Your your mom looked at me and said, Spencer like what do you like to do and I said oh I like acting and then your mom said would you consider yourself an actor and I was like mm, no but I do like it and then your mom said no you like acting you're an actor own it I can see it ever since changed then, your life I was like Holy I'm an actor shit I am an actor yeah I love your mom she's great she, uh, she's amazing anyways everyone you know where to find me at Spencewa on all social media platforms. Also, as you all know, this was, this was, no, this is going to be released on all audio streaming platforms. And if you want to see this happening live and in action, go to the Past Your Bedtime YouTube channel and subscribe. If you don't subscribe, you hate me, but I love all you guys. So I guess it's okay. But like, no, it's not okay because I love you guys. So you should love me too. And you should love me enough to go subscribe to the YouTube channel. So that's past your bedtime and uh, I love you guys and be safe and be healthy and don't do anything illegal because if you do something illegal and you end up in jail, then you can't listen to this podcast. Bye guys. Love you. Oh!